Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Keep Up the Fire, the Boxer Rebellion. It's from Worthington Publishing, and it's designed by John Welch. So I don't know much about this one, so I'm curious about this. I really don't know much about this time in history, so this will be an interesting learning experience for me to uh, play the simulation and see what, uh, what it was all about without just going and reading a Wikipedia page. So let's... Crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so the first thing I notice, obvious, everyone will notice, is that there's a sleeve on this one. So this has a box sleeve. I can only assume it came from a, uh, as a Kickstarter bonus perhaps, or something. Nice um, artwork of the Chinese city. The legations at Peking, 1900. It's a kind of a street map of the Chinese houses, German, French, customs, British, so on and so forth. So it's a nice little, little extra there. They did that with some of their other games recently too. Cowboys comes to mind. So one nice touch that uh, Worthington has been doing is here's your battle archive and allows you to store, you know, record uh, how well you did in the game. Uh, and this one is, instead of being a pad of sheets, is actually a bound stapled book. So that's kind of neat. So you don't just tear them out and lose them. You just, you're going to keep a dear diary. This is how we did today. So it's neat. All right, so now we've got our rule book. It has a very thin rule book. It is 12 pages. It is glossy, full color. And it um, goes through the components, as most, as most do, setting up the game and the sequence of play. So I should note this is a solitaire game. So similar to other games uh, from Worthington where you're playing against the system, that's the same thing here. Keep of the Fire is a solitaire game set in 1900 Peking, modern day Beijing, China, where foreign legations, areas assigned to imperial powers, including ambassadors, business people, and a handful of troops to provide security, are besieged in their compound by Chinese anti-imperialist forces, the Chinese Boxers, the Society of the Righteous and Harmonious Fists, with the Imperial Manchu forces of the King Army, are angry and determined to expel these foreigners from China. At the legation compound siege, you must coordinate the various foreign detachments that have joined to defend their position until a relief column arrives. On the relief column map, you will also command the relief column battling their way from the ports of Taku inland through hostile territory to break the siege of Peking. Thus, the game is a race against time as the Chinese forces besieging the legation compound or attacking relentlessly while the relief column battles its way to the rescue. So one of the, you know, the commands you'll most often hear as the shots come in is Peking Duck. So, so this tells you how to play the game. Now we've got some markers here. Just a small sheet of counters. Got some of the King Boxer Casualties, South, North, West, East. Um, very, very counter, low counter density here. Voila. So we've also got our board, which is actually, this is, well, this is the relief column map, which shows the relief column coming in to, to assist, working their way up to Peking from Taku. And they have a speed at which they move, combat power, they have a draw pile on this card pile, which tells me we're gonna have some cards in here somewhere. Very nicely done. I mean, very, very, very nicely produced. Got a nice textured surface on the back. And uh, charts are on the board. That's nice. So that's one board. And then we've got this larger board here. It's the main game board. And it is a four panel map. Just gonna take a look at it here on camera. So you got uh, legation strength markers, legation fortification markers, 
and the actual um, the city and your defense. It kind of resembles to me a little bit of a. Uh, it's obviously not part of the the old Victory Games States of Siege or Victory Point Games States of Siege series, but it kind of hints at that with the various tracks all leading in, and you're defending against them. And maybe it's got some. Uh, State of Siege DNA in it somewhere with the designer. So there's that board. And then you got one of their nice trays with a lid. They've been cleaning that a lot lately. And it's got a lid. And inside that we have a baggy O bags. One die. Which also now makes it seem like it might owe something to States of Siege because it always has one die that always rules wrong. And they're much like that. There's a one. That's what I always get. How many actions do I get? I get one. Okay, and then we got cards. That's interesting. Just different. It's not, it's, there's nothing right or wrong. It's like these seem to come in loose, you know, instead of being shrink wrapped, they're in a, like a loose, looser baggy. And they do appear to be pre sorted, which is a nice addition. A lot of times these come all shuffled together and you gotta dig through them, sort them out. So these are the legation cards which will go on the main board. We saw a draw and discard pile there. And these give you different cards you can use. Retain this card, play it any time during your action to add one CP to any legation unit or minus one CP to any other legation, for a minus one CP, so you basically can trade them off. And so they have different, different abilities that can help you out. So that's kind of neat. So you've got one deck that's gonna go on the legation board and then we've got another deck here that is gonna go on the relief board. And they're very hard, easy to tell because they say relief and legation. So these are a kind of a, kind of a uh, linen finish on them, which these actually seem to move pretty well. Sometimes that linen finish wants to really just grip but it doesn't seem to be linen-y on the front, so they don't really have any friction, which is nice. They are maybe a little thin, maybe, you know, maybe just a little thin. You might want to sleeve them. But I wouldn't want to, I'd want to use clear sleeves so that you can see the nice artwork. But again, these are used to deal with the relief column. So as I said, this is a solo game, so you're playing against the system and trying to keep the bad guys at bay. So, uh, and then you've got this nice tray that's uh, usually gonna stay in the box, but it'll hold counters, will hold your tokens, will hold your cards, your die, and has a lid on it to keep it safe when it's on your shelf. So should you pick up a copy of Keep Up the Fire, the Boxer Rebellion from Worthington Publishing and designed by John Welch, you are going to get two decks of cards, a relief deck, a legation deck. You're going to get a baggy O bags. You're going to get one die. Oh, I got a two that time. Much better. Twice as good. You'll get a cover. You're going to get the large legation board. You're going to get the smaller size relief column map. You're going to get one sheet of tokens. A battle archive for tracking your prowess at keeping up the fire. And you're going to get the 12 page full color Keep Up the Firebox for Rebellion rule book that does a better job of telling you how this game works and the history of this scenario. And that, in addition, let's go ahead and put this lid on like we normally do. But in addition, you're going to get this cool. Ah. cool, if not necessarily necessary, uh, box sleeve. And that is everything that comes in Keep Up the Fire, the Boxer Rebellion from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!